Well, 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 well. Look who's back on top. The fans. We won. Kinda. We, we, we kind of slayed the beast. Because Hasbro apparently started sending out emails to people saying that they're ditching the plastic free packaging and going back to window packaging because they heard us no they didn't hear us they heard our wallets and they saw probably a precipitous drop <laughs> and uh in in the fan enthusiasm aka people buying their stuff and they decided we're going to uh ditch the plastic free packaging we're gonna give you what you want we heard you they heard us ladies and gentlemen they heard us they heard what we wanted they heard that their idea was crap and trashy they heard that their hubris wasn't working and people were buying less and less they heard us but my question is why are they just listening to that hmm why are they just listening to that why are they not listening to us about release dates you know releasing things on time why aren't they hearing us about the terrible QC issues on their figures from Dungeons and Dragons to G.I. Joe Classified to Marvel Legends? Why, why are they just stopping there at the plastic free packaging, the closed boxes? Why are they, why are they stopping there? This needs to be expanded out further because let's be honest here. The plastic free packaging was a was something that no one asked for no one wanted and basically people were like oh, screw you I'll go to Mattel <laughs> like, you know I, I noticed another big gripe about that was that the plastic free packaging was that uh, the image on the box didn't match the figure that we were getting inside the box Case in point, uh, Spider, the Iron Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, good luck getting him in that pose. <laughs> like, <laughs> was it the uh, extremitis? Extremitis? I can't. I can't speak. I can't speak right now. Uh, Iron Man. Uh, extremis. Vitam, I, I, Iron Man. <laughs> God, Lee. Um, <laughs> they. Uh, he can't make that pose. He can't get in that pose. Stop. Stop that. Stop 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 lying to people with these renders that the figures can't do and, and, and you know the best way the easiest way to fix that is not put them in those positions on your plastic free packaging how about you just give us the characters we want and the ability to see what we're actually getting we're tired of this we, we got tired of the blind box nonsense and it's like stuff was just going on clearance because people were just getting tired of opening their boxes and getting a surprise inside i uh i bought one box set and i literally got builder figure pieces i literally got a box of builder figure pieces and i'm sitting here like wait wait, wait. so did it leave hasbro's manufacturer like the warehouse like that did it arrive at the target that i or uh, target warehouse that i ordered it from like that did it happen in when it was being packed for shipping did it happen when it got in the truck did it happen at the sort facility did, when 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 did it happen that i this box was full of builder figure pieces it looked like it, it looked like hannibal lecter got a hold of this box like yo it was wild and i was just like what what are we doing what are we doing here i was like at least if you're going to do the plastic free stuff do like the transformers let us at least see half the figure how about that if the legs fall off the legs fall off but at least we know it's the character there 
that we're, we're buying the the character that we we want to purchase. We know that. At least we know that. That when you buy a transformer, you know what you're getting. Why why not do that with GI Joe? Why not do that with Marvel Legends? Why not do that with Dungeons and Dragons? I don't get this company. I I don't understand their moves. They they're literally making some of the dumbest mistakes. It's like you know I've been saying. I've been saying the the phrase Hasbro got a Hasbro like they just they have no they can't help themselves they have to they have to bumble into success they can't just go get success I've never seen a company this incompetent continue to be successful I don't get it I don't get it it's like Apple computers for you know for their ups and downs they're still a well-oiled machine I always use them as a standard because they're a well-oiled machine people want to use Amazon they want to use Walmart insert your favorite company or least favorite company whatever they're usually at least in some part somewhere in there they're a well-oiled machine Hasbro they 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 literally grab defeat from the jaws of victory every freaking time no one asked for this stuff and then we said hey don't do that they decided well we know more than you we know better than you because this is for the environment no it wasn't it was a cost saving measure we all know that it's e it's cheaper to just print on on cardboard than it is to actually mold the plastic packaging around the characters i get it i understand but uh there's a fine line where you just have to listen to your customer base and they didn't they're not technically listening to us they're just conceding the ground because of money they know that they're losing a percentage of their customer base every single quarter with this bullshit they know it their stock is down their enthusiasm is down the enth customer enthusiasm is way down everything's down so what do you do you got to fix the main problem and the main problem is the easiest problem for them this this problem is actually the easiest problem for them to fix this is the easiest problem for them to fix they're not going to fix all the qc issues no because that would be difficult they're not going to stand by their product no because that would be difficult um no they're they're basically going to treat us like the people in washington dc when people out here in the real world all of us most pretty much all of us is probably listening to this but we're having a hard time dealing with the economy and trying to like just keep keep our damn lights on and keep a roof over our heads rather than do things to actually meaningfully help us they decide oh we're we'll, we'll give you another paid holiday <laughs> we'll give you a federal holiday because that's easy it doesn't cost anything extra and this honestly this probably doesn't cost anything extra it probably cost like maybe maybe five cents per box it doesn't cost anything extra but they're gonna do that because the bigger things they they're not gonna fix that because that costs too much it costs too much to stand by your product and make sure that every single person that buys your product gets a good product that's too hard that's too difficult but what do I know I'm just some drunk yelling into a microphone on YouTube. Anyway, with that, make sure you want to like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure you check out the community page. That's where I post any restocks, any pre-orders, and any deals I find across the World Wide Web. I'll throw a link for that in the description. Also, in the description, check out my Amazon affiliate link. Uh, all you have to do if you need to buy anything from Amazon is just click on the link and buy away and amazon pay me a small commission for everything you purchase it doesn't cost you anything extra and it's a great way to support the channel anyway with that said with that said be safe be good and this is the drunken prime cracking open another beer and signing off